How to hang blackout curtains. Blackout curtains can be very useful for blocking out light when you are trying to sleep, especially for young children or shift workers who sleep during the day. Many major home decor suppliers carry blackout curtains, or you can make your own with blackout fabric and a little sewing skill. Measure your window frame, choose the product that suits your needs, and enjoy sleeping in peace. Measuring your window. Measure the length of your window frame. Hook a tape measure on a top corner of your window frame and pull it down to the bottom edge of the frame. Then do the same on the other side and in the middle, in case your window is not perfectly square. If you already have a curtain rod, you only need to measure from the curtain rod to where you want the curtains to end. If you do find that your window is a different length on one side, keep the longest measurement. If you already have a curtain rod, you only need to measure from the curtain rod to where you want the curtains to end. If you do find that your window is a different length on one side, keep the longest measurement. Add 4 in 10 cm if you are installing a curtain rod. Most curtain rods are hung at least 4 inches 10 cm above the top of the window frame. You may want to hang yours even higher to give the illusion of height to your windows and make the room seem taller. Don't add more than 8 inches 20 centimeters to the length, as hanging curtains this high can look awkward. You may also want to add 4 to 6 inches 10 to 15 centimeters to your length to make your curtains hang down further below the window frame, which will block more light. Don't add more than 8 inches 20 centimeters to the length, as hanging curtains this high can look awkward. You may also want to add 4 to 6 inches 10 to 15 centimeters to your length to make your curtains hang down further below the window frame, which will block more light. Measure the width of your window frame. Take a tape measure and find the width of the top, middle, and bottom of your frame. If the measurements are different, use the widest one. If you are installing a new curtain rod, you should plan to buy one that is at least 2 to 6 inches 5.1 to 15.2 centimeters longer than the width of your frame. Multiply your frame's width by 2.5. To make the blackout curtains more effective, and create a more attractive look, you will want your curtains to have plenty of depth. In order to have enough material for the curtains to fold over themselves several times, they should be at least 2.5 times as wide as your frame. For instance, if your frame is 3 feet 0.91 meters wide, you will want curtains that are 7.5 feet 2.3 meters wide. For instance, if your frame is 3 feet 0.91 meters wide, you will want curtains that are 7.5 feet 2.3 meters wide. Measure the depth of the frame if you are installing a new rod. To buy a curtain rod that extends far enough out from your window frame, you will need to know the depth of the frame. Use a tape measure or ruler to measure the distance from the wall to the point where your frame extends the farthest.